Okay, so today I'm checking out Beijing's 798 Art District. Should be interesting to check out the Chinese art scene here in Beijing. It's a Chinese Starbucks experience. First we grabbed our morning coffee at Starbucks, which like most Western chains, had a slightly different menu for the Chinese market. Green tea and cheesecake, mmm, that looks really good actually. We then took the subway, in which the walls of the tunnel flashed advertisements through the windows. I'm sure we'll be seeing this in the West very soon. We arrived at the district, which was built in the 50s as a military factory to house about 20,000 workers. It was designed by Germans, who with their Bauhaus approach to architecture, created large indoor spaces to maximize natural light. So Alondra's friend put her in contact with his friend, Nihal, who has an art gallery here in the art district. Very cool gallery. Favorite gallery in 7 The factory had a short life and by the end of the century it was practically abandoned. At the same time, Beijing's art community was looking for a home and discovered these cathedral-like spaces for extremely cheap rent. Some amazing installation spaces in here. It became part of the art gallery in 2000. Maybe, yeah. Sure enough, artists flocked to the area, and since 2000, it's boomed. Today, a major attraction. So we're in the art district having some lunch. Firstly, the art district is awesome. Every street has got sculptures, shops, and really cool cafes. I saw this girl posing with these statues, and I think I may have surprised her. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, every city should have an art district. It's such a great idea. You don't have to travel between galleries, they're all here. Can I get a good value for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> so that was a quick video scratching the surface of the art zone. If you visit Beijing, I definitely recommend it. Also, can I mention how only in China you'd find a huge panda statue next to the road? Thanks for watching and hit subscribe to see more of China and more of the world. Until next time, Zai Xian. I think I said that right.